if I had 15 in my pocket, how many would you have? 15 candies and we're combinations of 20, how many would you have? Five, right? What if I had 17, how many would you have? Three. Three, we'd still have 20? Yeah? What if I had 19, how many would you have? What if I had one? 19. What if I had 10, how many would you have? What if I had nine, how many would you have? 11. What if I had 11? You'd have how many? Nine. What if I had 13? You'd have seven. What if I had 17? Three. Okay, so we're playing back and forth, back and forth. And then at some point I'm going to say, hey, let's write this down again. What if I had 15, how many did you have? Five. And together we had how many? 20. What if I had 14? How many would you have? Six. And together we had how many? Twenty. Cool. What if I had seventeen? How many would you have? Three. Three. Would you have how many together? Twenty. What if I had nineteen? How many would you have? One. Y'all are so quiet. <laughs> and we have twenty together. And I'm gonna step back. And I'm gonna go. Man, I feel like I'm noticing like some sort of connection between the combinations that we made for 10s and the combinations for 20s. Does anybody else see a connection there? Yeah, Nikki, what are you saying? Um, <coughs> that you're adding the same number, but in 20, because there's an extra 10. There's an extra 10? Or there's a 10 and a 15. Is it like you added a 10 to the five? Somebody, um, add on to what Nikki just said. Do you may understand what she was talking about? Yeah. It's hard to put some of the words sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> Robin, what are you thinking? You heard what Nikki said? I'm seeing the 10 plus the nine plus one, and not, I'm seeing the, the combination right here? on both sides, except for one side has all plus tens. You see this is a nine and a one, uh -huh. and you see this is a 10 and a nine and a one, uh -huh. and this is a seven and a three, and you see this is a 10 and a seven and a three? Yeah, this is a four and a six, this is a 10 and a four and a six. So are you saying to me that um, this basis right here of combinations of 10 can be found here as well? Yeah? Wouldn't it be lovely if our kids like made that connection? So what would it look like if we were gonna do 30s? And I don't usually do 30s with kids, but help me out here. What if I had 25? How many would you have? Five. Five. And what if I had 24? Six. Six, which is 30. What if I had 27? Three. What if I had 29? One. Is what Nikki said true and Robin was saying true? I have two tens. Ah, now I have two tens. I love that you said that. I have two tens and the same old five and five. I have two tens and the same old four and six. I have two tens in the seven three and two tens in the nine and one. How important is it for kids to have the combinations of 10? Man, it is super powerful, super powerful. And I just heard somebody say, man, fourth, my fourth graders don't have that down. They can, right? And it does not take us saying, hey, you should know these, right? Remember our alphabet? Man, you should know these, this is really important. But there are small routines that you can do in tiny chunks all the time. So again, when I taught fifth grade, boom, first week of school, here I am. And they looked at me like I was crazy, but I am checking out who responds really quickly. And you got the kids who don't, right? You got the kids who go, I don't have it. You got a few who are like super automatic, but they've never been asked things like that before, right? So we get super automatic with these, right? Then I moved to 20s because I want to I want to step back and make this connection. Now what I said to you is I don't generally do 30s. Why wouldn't I do 30s? Over here. I just did it with you guys to see if that was gonna be true what Nikki just said. Why don't I normally like do this kind of call and response thing with 30s? Any ideas? Why does it work Well, so when I taught third through fifth, I, I, 30 is kind of not really like a landmark number for me. I don't know that I necessarily care that kids can find every combination of 30. 10 is important to me, 20 is important to me. This like 
connection here. So the next thing I would actually do is whatever, no matter what grade or whether I'm talking to adults, I go 10, I go 20, and then I go, okay, you guys are solid with 10 and 20, let's do 100. And they all like, oh. you guys ready to do 100? How's your brain? You ready? What if I asked you about 50? Are you awake? You're gonna have to shout, it's okay. 50 and 50 is 100, okay? What if I asked you 40? Okay, what if I asked you 70? Oh, this isn't so bad. What if I asked you 90? Now, what I didn't say was I then go to combinations of 100 only multiples of 10. Why in the world would I do that? Step back for a second. We're call and response, call and response over days, right? Several times, and at some point I go, hey, actually, let me write some of that down. Just write it down, I'm stepping back, and I go, man, like, there seems to be some sort of weird connection again. Who can put into words that weird connection that we notice? If I, if I have a chart paper and I've got like this combination of 10 here, and I've got this set here, and then I've got this next to it, I want us to notice those patterns. What, what do I want to talk about here? See anything that's worth knowing? Same thing. What do you mean same thing? Well, you're adding one. You're, I mean, you're, you've taken those groups of 10 and you're combining them. How many, yeah, it's the, sometimes what you can think about in your head, but then put into words is like, it doesn't, it doesn't match up, right? It's difficult to describe sometimes. Somebody want to add on to what Robin just said? Yeah? Um, well, if you can <clears throat> show them the, the connection between going back to just making 10. Okay. Then you, you see a connection from here to here. Yes. Okay. So, um, because in our one place we have zeros, so they can, once they see the connection between um, adding, um, it's hard to say, um, make the connection between um, the tens and the hundreds that it's just an extra place value. Um, that they can just add those tens together. So like, um, they don't even have to look at the zero and the 50. They can just look at the five and five and know. So you don't want me to have them know this is 50 and 50? I want, no. <laughs> Not that, okay. <laughs> um, Okay. Somebody else want to give it a shot? <laughs> what is the what is the connection from like I know you see something, right? I would have to show them by picture. Show Sorry. them by picture. What do you mean? <laughs> well, a five would represent five ones. Here, this is five ones or here this is five tens. ones. Oh, this is five tens. I would have to show them by picture. Show them by picture. Tommy, you're Want to jump in? Your five tens and five tens is make ten tens. Oh, five and five is ten. Five tens and five tens is ten tens. Four and six is ten. Four tens and six tens is ten tens. We okay with that? Seven and three is ten. So seven tens and three tens is ten tens. Is that true? So combinations of 100, there's still a connection here? All right, so let me tell you the next thing I do, right? Like, like there's a progression, right? If I'm teaching older grades, I'm probably blowing through these pretty quickly. Am I gonna have some kids who are not blowing through these pretty quickly? Yeah, and you know what? When I'm standing next to the line, privately, I'm having a conversation with that kid. It's not an embarrassment thing, right? I'm also saying to parents, hey, let me describe to you this routine that we do. You got two minutes in a car. It's a great parent conference conversation because there are plenty who want to know what to do besides sit there with the worksheet with their kid, right? Um, so the next thing I say is, okay, we're gonna play I Have You Need, um, and we're gonna do still combination of 100, but we're gonna do multiples of five. You ready? So 95, and you would need? Five. Okay, what about 75? Seriously loud. Thank you. What if I have um, 85? Okay. What if I have 25? What if I have 65? What if I have 35? What if I have 55? What if I have 45? It's so funny to me that when I say 55 and you say 45, you're like, 
timid. But as soon as I turn it around, what happens? Mm -hmm. If I say 55 and you say 45, then when I say I have 45, have you noticed your voice level? Mm -hmm. When I do the turnaround, immediately you're louder. Why is that? Because you know, the... <laughs> you're more confident. Mm -hmm. You're sure, right? You're using what you know. You're not afraid to say it wrong. What if I said 65? Here, let me share with you something that happens. If I say 65, you say 35. If I said um, 85, you said 15. And if I say 55, you say 45. You know what? Sometimes it's really weird. Sometimes when I say 65, I hear people say 45. And sometimes when I say 85, I hear some people say 25. And sometimes when I say 55, I hear other people say 55. Yeah? You're saying, yeah? What? Why do I hear that? Because we said earlier when we said six, four is the matching, would be the combination to make 10. And so... So this should be 45. Because you're right, six and four go together. Right? Over Six and four go together. Six and four go together. Six and four go together. So six and four goes together here. So I'm saying that's where I think they get the four from is because it goes together. And that. So you're saying it doesn't go together here? Why not? Because it's five more than 60. So then we're going to need five less than 40. Five more than 60, so it's four, five less than 40. You have an extra 10 with those two fives. With the 65 and 45, you have an extra 10. If you add 65 and 45 together, you have an extra 10? Compared to when, if you're adding 40 and 60, you have an extra 10 because 5 and 5 is 10. So you okay. have to think about that when you're trying to make 100 with 65. What are you thinking? I don't know. If you have a 5 with the number, you only need to make a 9 with the number. You need to make a 9? I'm trying to make 100. Five and five makes ten. Wait, tell me what? Wh why would I make a nine? I'm trying to make hundred. I mean, Mr. You're 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 Katie from yesterday. Oh. What are we doing here? You only need nine tens because you have two fives. Mm -hmm. You only need nine tens because you need you have two fives that make a ten. Mm -hmm. Becky, mm -hmm. yeah. You only need. Okay, so by far, by far. You guys have verbalized that relationship better than any other group you've been in. Tell me I'm not lying. Not lying. Like, that was pretty good. I was a little bit worried about that, right? You have these two extra fives, right? And so at that point, because you have A10 taken care of, now what do I need here? You only need one less 10 because one of the 10s is taken care of. So now all I need here is Nine tenths. It is a beautiful, beautiful thing to see third and fourth graders verbalize that relationship. And they can, they can totally do it. Now, like if you go back tomorrow and ask somebody who's never done any of these routines, they're probably not a clue. But in this routine, so, so back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, fives. And then the very next thing that I would do is I'm gonna give you any number in 100. I'm gonna say 44 and you're gonna say, so you're gonna say nothing. <laughs> forty-four is fifty-six. Oh, you're gonna say forty-four. Thirty-eight. Sixty-two. <laughs> Feel like you can. Twenty-six. Eighteen. What are you thinking about when you come up with that number? <laughs> thinking. Hoping, hoping I ask the reverse. <laughs> I'm thinking, Evan, be quiet. My brain's still trying to log on. <laughs> so, so what are you thinking about? Try to make a nine. Where? Nine. Trying to make a nine in the tens place. Trying to come up with twenty. But then, what about this? What about the ones place? Just make a ten. We go back to here, right? It takes longer. You've got to make two tens. Two tens. Making the nine here. Not combination of 90 here. Can you see some value in kids having all these combinations? Like, okay, great, it's a great routine. Woohoo! Like, I've got something to do on the way to music. How does this help me besides just they've memorized combinations of 10, 20? 
100 multiples of 10, maybe 100 multiples of 5, and then 5 ones. How, like, why do I care? When would that be useful in other mathematics? That's kind of a, a big thing, right? Like, I don't want to pick up a bunch of routines just for cuteness sake, for fun. It's got to be useful. Talk to your table base for just a second. When, when would any of that be useful to you somewhere else, outside of this routine? Why do I care? In case you're around the prices, right? <laughs> <laughs> so for one of a billion students. <laughs> when when would that matter? I think it's important that we ask this, right? Because there are a lot of cute games and a lot of cute routines. Um, I, I told Pam that I think this is the most important routine that I could ever do. And she was like, yeah, it's great. And I'll let her share with you in just a second about how she changed her mind. It matters because we talk an awful lot about friendly numbers, right? It's like our favorite math phrase to throw out. Friendly numbers, get to a friendly number, add a friendly number. And we're gonna do some work with you later on. And I'm gonna just pose this question and I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm not gonna answer this question for you. And I'm gonna write up here, why do we care? Because I think it's important that we ask ourselves all the time, why do we care? You'll never ever hear me, and I'm going to put right here, I have you need. You'll never ever hear me say that I'm doing an activity or a routine because it's fun or because the kids like it. I mean, that's a great side effect of it. But I think that we have to have a whole lot more purpose. We don't have time to do stuff just for fun's sake. As, as little as our kids are, that's a great side effect, but we need to, we need to care. So I'm going to just leave that. I'm going I'm to let you kind of ponder on that for a second.